Welcome back to Tidbits of Faith with Father Romans, and we're here in St. Bridget Church with our guest this week, Cece Johnson. Thank you, Cece, for joining us. Cece is very active in the life of our parish, and Cece, would you like to share with the people of God who are watching what you're involved in here at the parish, what you participate in in the life of our parish? Sure. Um, well, one of my favorite things that I do is I like to lecture. I do that during uh, weekday masses. And I also do it on the weekends, and I find it very, very, very fulfilling. It's very important to my, my life as a Catholic. Um, I also do a lot of what I call behind-the-scenes ministries. I like to do those kinds of things. I do the sandwich ministry for the shelter. Um, I also do uh, once a month on Sundays. There's a meal that's provided to the shelter as well, and I like to participate in that. There's, uh, I do the giving tree at Christmas time, which is uh, very important both to uh, my personal life, but also because of the people that we serve in the community. I particularly enjoy doing things with the Cheshire Community Pantry. And there's a number of other little things that I manage to stick my fingers in at times as well. And Cece is also being humble. She's a graduate of the Catholic Biblical School and helps us in many ways with our Bible studies that happen throughout the parish, uh, whether she's leading them or she's behind the scenes, guiding us into what programs are, are worthwhile in, in exploring as a parish. So thank you for all that effort as well. And I would and love shout to out just, to the Biblical School. Yes, I would like to do that very quickly. So um, the it's now called the New England Catholic Biblical School because during COVID they brought the program online and there were many people throughout New England that wanted to join. So now they can because they have both in-house and online. Um, so I encourage anyone who's interested in pursuing uh, more in-depth study of the Bible to help both yourself personally, but also your life as a Catholic to really consider making the effort to go out and look up the uh, New England Catholic Biblical School. You just have to type it in, it'll come right up. It has all the information about how to register, what's covered, it's a four-year program. It does involve some extra work on your part, but I can tell you it's well, 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 well worth it. Um, I've been a graduate for 14 years now, I think, or oh, 15, and I am still using every bit that I've learned during that time. And we've had people following your footsteps in the parish, yes. and they too are involved in leading Bible studies and other aspects of faith formation. So we're grateful to the biblical school for all that they've done to form you all as leaders in our parish. Yes. What is one of the tidbits of our faith that gives you inspiration as you walk this journey of faith? Well, one of the things that's most important to me is my relationship with the Holy Spirit. Um, it was the Holy Spirit that encouraged me to pursue the Catholic Biblical School. I had been looking at the bulletin where I had been for a couple of years and I was in the car with my husband and I said, you know, I think I really want to do this Catholic Biblical School thing. It was this thing in the back of my head. And he goes, you've been saying this for two years. So I did and I have never regretted it. And even just this Sunday, I had been contemplating with the Holy Spirit. I had something that I really needed some help with and I was lecturing and I looked out and I, all of a sudden the solution came to me. And I went back and I said, Holy Spirit, thank you. Not only did you help me solve my problem, but you've also taught me a lesson. I won't share what that lesson was. <laughs> and we won't ask you to, <laughs> thank that's you. personal, of course. But, but it is indeed It's very important and important. you need to listen and be open to the word. Jesus promised he would not leave us orphans, that he would send the Holy Spirit, the advocate, to be with us, to guide us, and that's exactly what's happening yes. in your life. And everyone can experience that too if they just open themselves to the yes. power of the Holy Spirit. And certainly we hope that you will all be inspired by CC's story and open your hearts and your minds to the power and the working of the Holy Spirit in your life. Until next week's edition of Tidbits of Faith, we ask God's choices, blessings upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go take on the day of one.